Hey, what's up guys? This is Joe. Um, in this video, what I'm going to do is break down standard deviation to um, different kind of levels based on uh, points scored just to kind of get a, a more accurate type of standard deviation. Uh, for example, I mean, say you get someone who averages 40 points a game. They're always playing uh, like full time. The standard deviation is fine how it is, just doing the normal one, checking all their games. But if you get a guy who only plays a couple minutes a game normally, say he scores averages three points, fantasy points a game, but once in a while he'll get to start and get like 20 minutes of playing time because due to injury, in those games he maybe scores 20, 25 points. Those are two different standard deviations there. You can't mix all those together and give him one standard deviation because then when you look at it when he's scoring 20 points it's going to be too small and when you're looking at scoring four point three or four points it's going to be too big so we kind of have to break those apart so we're going to do that in one second uh, i just wanted to remind you guys to smash the like button and uh if you if you like this video and subscribe and also check out all the links below i got um my video course at spreadsheetschooldfs.com the link is below and also uh I'll go to optimizelineups.com to check out all my spreadsheet tools for building uh, building lineups for daily fantasy. So, getting into the video, I, what I've got here, I've got the 2019-2020 game logs for basketball. And we've got all their, their points scored. And, like I said, we could just run a standard deviation on the players. And for a lot of the players, it would be perfectly fine. But... To get the players that have the high games and the low games, just due to, to minutes played, um, we need to break that out. So, uh, But all you got to do, it's really not too difficult. So we're, all we're going to do is, say I'm going to do the cutoff is 15 points. I mean, it's just an arbitrary number, but I I mean, you could use 20 points. And we're going to do DraftKings. So let's say greater than 15 points. And I'm going to copy this whole page over to here and it's going to paste in and those will be all the scores that we want to look at for, for greater than 15 points so I'll just call it over 15 and we can do the same thing now and but we're just going to call it less than 15 so all the, the players who scored less than 15 in a game And I will paste that right here. And then I'm going to call that sheet less than 15, obviously. Okay, so now that we have our extra our new tables of less than and over um, greater than 15, let's, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to build a kind of summary table. So I'm going to copy all the names. Actually, we still got the filters on. So I'm going to unfilter this. I'm going to copy all the names to a new sheet. This will be kind of our summary. I'll call this my standard deviation tab. And then I'm going to go up to data and then this button here, remove duplicates. My data has a header and it's going to remove duplicates. So there's only 500 people remaining. So now here is the under 15. Here will be our over 15. And this is where we can do our standard deviation. So we're going to do stdev.p, and what's the number? So we got to make our formula, if, parentheses, and the logical test. So this is the less than. So where this column equals this cell, A2, which is LeBron James, then we want to do the standard deviation on this cell right here. So do double parentheses, and then we do control, shift, and enter. And it's going to be, you get this error if um, he probably has no game under 15. So as we copy this down, see you'll, you'll see here is the standard deviations. And I'm just going to for, format this as a number. And then all you have to do is just copy it all the way down, and it will uh, give you the standard deviation. So now let's look at, uh, we'll do the same thing, but we're going to do it for the over. So equals stdev.p. 
And then we say if this name column equals this name, which is again LeBron James, then we want to do the standard deviation on this column. Double parentheses. Then we do Control Shift and Enter. And there we go. So now when I copy this down, it's going to only give you the standard deviation on for the players when if they are on that over 15 file. So that's uh, see, as you can kind of tell. Usually the players with under 15, because if they're only scoring like say five points a game, their range will maybe be between three and seven or so. Um, so that's why the standard deviation is lower for most of the players than players that are scoring 25 points a game. They're going to have a higher standard deviation. So this gives you a more accurate representation of um, of their, their standard deviation and their range of, of scoring outputs. So let's um, do a quick filter here, and let's just look at one player. Uh, someone who's got a pretty big difference. Uh, here, Rondo. So I'm going to pull, pull him up, and he's got 64 records, and he does have, he's got his games under 15, and he's got his games that are high also. So when it shows greater than 15, see, we'll look at his average, and his average is about 26. And when we look at under 15, I mean, see, that average is only 9. So, obviously, there's going to be a lot more of a range of outcomes with the higher, the higher score than the lower score. So, that's why you see, with an average of 9, he had a standard deviation of 4. So, most of the scores come between 5 and 13. So, uh, that is it for... Um, kind of the way to make your standard deviation a little more accurate, uh, especially it's good for basketball for the players that don't always have the same amount of minutes. So um, again, thumbs up if you like this and check out my links below for my spreadsheet school at spreadsheetschooldfs.com and my lineup building tools at lineup or at optimizelineups.com. Uh, thanks and you guys have a great day. Bye.